Anthropic just dropped to Claude at 3.7. It's been hyped as being the future of coding, but is it any good at coding trading strategies? That's what we're going to be finding out today. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Hey traders, I hope you're going extremely well. My name is David and welcome back to my channel where we go through profitable trading strategies. Today we're going to be testing the new Claude 3.7 to see whether it's any good at creating profitable trading strategies. I'm going to be putting it head to head against ChatGPT and all of the other models that I've actually tested here on this channel to find out which truly is the best at creating profitable trading strategies. We're going to be using TradingView as always for our back test. So I guess the best idea is to get straight over to my computer and let's get testing Claude 3.7 but before I do go over my, to my computer if I can ask you one favor if you do enjoy that these videos don't forget to give it a good old thumbs up and if why not subscribe I do videos every week about profitable trading strategies on TradingView right let's get over to the screen and let's get testing Claude okay here I am on my tier list or the tier maker on my computer as you can see from the screen I already put together in the previous video videos a bit of a tier list so that we can rank all of these models as you can see claude is still my favorite clothing agent i use it in all of my day-to-day -day tasks claude is one of the best and one of the known throughout the industry as being one of the best agents for coding Close on that second was Deep Seek. Now Deep Seek did a very good job of the easy strategy that we built for Trading View, but didn't do very good at the any others. Although we did give it quite precise instructions. ChatGPT and Claude once again did better on the intermediate and also the advanced prompt. So let's get over to Claude. Let's have a look. Unfortunately, guys. Claude uh, code I did try to get access to it but unfortunately and as you can see on the screen it currently is at capacity so I'm not able to actually test the new Claude code uh, but a bit of disappointed about that but unfortunately I'll be have to do it on the next video I have tested it on my computer but I can't get access to it unfortunately at this moment so we're going to be testing Claude 3.7 Sonnet directly in our browser. Let's get over to our first prompt here where we're going to be building a one hour time frame trading strategy. It has to identify high profitability trades on a one hour time frame, building a risk management system, and we're going to be using PineScript 5. So I'm going to hit enter. Guys, before I go any further, I'd like to give a big old shout out to today's partner of this video here. This Mastercard here makes my life much easier in the day, my day-to-day -day shopping. It is accepted worldwide in 80 million merchants across the, the whole of the world, making it a versatile option for all of your shopping needs. You can unlock this card by using the link down in the description below. It's also now available in the EEA, Australia, the Netherlands, Argentina, Brazil, and many selected parts of the world. And one of my favorite parts is you can get 2 to 10% cash back on your purchases and 8% APY on your savings. The fees are very low and they're zero annual fees or hidden cost. So if you're interested, you can find the link down in the description below, as I said earlier. Thank you very much once again for partnering up with us for this video right back over to our test results from our ai agent so i'm going to hit enter let's see how fast it is at actually coding as you can see we open up the code panel on the side that's pretty cool that we are separating code as always in claude and has been for quite a long time now this strategy here as you can see is using several emas we're using a fast ema and a macd signal we're using uh, the ATR, I should imagine, for the stop losses and take profits. A volume filter, they've decided to use the volume SMA for a filter. Now we are obviously, as always, using the NNFX plan and I've asked it to put everything together. So this is the explanation of the actual trading strategy. So we're using a dual EMA crossover of the 13 and 48, identifying the primary market direction. We're then going to be using the MACD signal line determining momentum. Now, guys, this really is one of the best uh, descriptions that I've actually seen. ChatGPT and, and uh, DeepSeek didn't even bother telling us really what was behind it. Not as much as this. Anyway, we're going to be analyzing the histogram to confirm our entries. We're going to be using ATR bands for the stop losses and the take profit. We're going to be using volume for confirmation. 
We're going to be detecting a spike uh, of a volume of a 1.5 over normal, the 20 day SMA. That is pretty insane. We're going to be using an RSI Extreme uh, Filters. Now, this really is pretty amazing. I'm impressed. I'm really, really am very impressed in the detail that they put into this. I guess the proof is in the pudding. We're going to copy this over to Trading View. Boom, we copied it over, we pasted it in. We're gonna save it to see or not whether this actually saves or if there's any bugs. And it's looking good so far. Man, we managed to get it in one go. Now that is incredible. It isn't profitable, but it did actually work in the first instance without actually needing to change anything. I'm very, very impressed. Let's try a couple of other time frames to see whether or not the time frame will make any difference. The one day did have three profitable trades, but that is nowhere near enough information for us. The one day did actually have 10 profitable trades and the equity curve is in the green. But unfortunately, that is not enough data. But I'm really very, very impressed. I mean, look at all of this. Here we have the actual stop loss and take profit plotted on the chart and even removed at the point when we've actually hit the stop loss. You can also see that the actual stop loss is trailing, which is absolutely insane. This really is very, very good. We have our EMAs plotted as well, and I'm pretty sure that if I would spend a little bit more time actually coding and playing around with this code, that I could probably make this more profitable. Anyway, guys, I think that we're going to put this one well up the top here as easy. We're going to put it up as the A tier up here. I'll even say that this is actually the best that we've done so far. So congratulations to Anthropic. Okay, let's start with something a little bit more detail. This is going to be something that sort of could be considered intermediate level. So what we have here is we do actually have we have a little bit more detail. We are still looking for a one hour time frame. We're looking to build a strategy based on the NNFX structure. We've added that we want it to be unique and not using any of the sort of normal indicators. Our primary indicator would define overall direction. And as you can see, we have a little bit more detail in our logic just here. So I'm going to hit enter. Let's see what Claude comes up with as a second uh, setup. Okay, so in our second setup here, which has asked for something a little bit more unique, we have, we're starting to use the squeeze momentum indicator, which is one of my favorite indicators. We're using Fisher Transform, which is going to be detecting the cyclic turning points of price action. We're using the chunking money flow, the CMFO to measure buy and sell pressure. Uh, I'm really very, very impressed by the amount of detail we got. We didn't open up a uh, coding panel for this one, so hopefully it will work. There is a little bit more detail down here. It's going to confirm that we got entries. Uh, it's going to give us a little bit more information about the squeeze momentum indicator and the Fisher transform. Okay, so I'm going to go away and copy this. We're going to put it over to uh, trading view and we're going to test to see on whether or not it's going to give us a better result. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Let's update this on the chart. And unfortunately, we did get actual error. I'm going to copy in this over. I'm a bit disappointed. Unfortunately, we do have two errors here, and both of them are the same. Okay, let's try again. I did actually notice that we are using super trends for uh, the actual uh, trend direction, which is cool. Right, so let's go back over. We're going to test this one here to see whether it works. Okay, there is another error here where we have actually twice the value here. Uh, I'm just going to overwrite. Let's see whether this works or not and gives us anything a little bit more profitable. And as you can see, we had seven trades on the daily time frame straight away. It worked. We have plotted all of our indicators on the chart. The super trend is there. We have our Fisher, I believe, here. Uh, looking pretty good actually uh, let's go over to the one hour time frame as it was designed for the one hour and as you can see we have a profitable trading strategy which is insane we have 69 closed trades it's only up by 0.7 percent but we didn't expect really much more from something that hasn't got any leverage and probably isn't using much equity from it we're gonna go to the first date let's deep back test it as far as we possibly can 
not looking as good as it was unfortunately not looking great uh, but let's try and play around with some of the settings very quickly up here let's use a little bit more equity we're using 10 percent of equity already so we are actually using 10 percent of our equity turf yeah it is what it is it is a profitable trading strategy certainly can't say anything against it i'm pretty impressed i really really am impressed we're going to put this in our a list here i'm very very impressed by claude 3.7 creating uh, trading view strategies and our final prompt is asking us to use indicators a little bit more outside of the box using none of the rsis and the macd's and things like that we are constraining it to only high profitability settings we're looking for something a little bit more outside the box than what we generally would have so let's see what we've coming up with here. So far, we've added uh, an indicator, which is the Ichimoku Cloud, which is pretty cool. Haven't actually found many trading strategies myself that actually work with that. We have our confirmation one, which is the ADX. We all know that that's a very, very good indicator. Uh, we also have the volume volatility indicator, which is on balance volume, which is cool. I've never used that before in any of my strategies i don't believe and then we're using the cmfo which we were using in the most previous one as well let's take this over to trading view let's have a look let's paste it in here let's see whether or not we actually get any errors we do indeed t-a-e-m-a -E we have an error here which is the t-a highest let's paste that over back into claude to see if it can actually debug itself okay here we go so hopefully it will manage to debug itself i'm hoping for the best okay here we go we're going to copy and paste it over let's see whether or not it works let's go uh, even more errors we have an emergency exit which i asked it to add as well we have a lot more errors than before unfortunately this does look like it isn't going to work let's keep trying we're going to give it one more chance here fortunately it does look like this is not going to work let's give it one more chance at least it's very polite it does keep apologizing Okay, fantastic. We're going to try one more time over here to see whether we can get this thing working. Come on, Claude. Yes, right. Okay, unfortunately not particularly profitable on the one hour, but we do have a profitable, very profitable trading strategy of 114 closed trades on the one hour time frame. That is pretty sick. I'm pretty happy with that. Number of trades, 114. Also, we made at 29%, which let's have a look at how much we're actually using at for our equity for each trade we're using five percent if we take that up to ten percent as you can see the drawdown is ten percent we made it at 65 percent that means that our profit factor is close to two which is pretty good i'm pretty impressed yeah i'm very very impressed by this strategy as well i did also notice that claude had a kind of a deep think sort of extended mode here let's have a look very quickly at the modes we have extended over here i'm just going to test very quickly to see on whether or not this actually does any better as a trading strategy it's got a kind of a deep think mode here we can see how it's actually thinking which obviously is in competition with all of the other models out there trying to use its own thinking model or its own agent let's see what it comes up with and see if it brings up anything else while it's coding i'm going to go over to the tier we're going to put this one here as well can't see really see this has been any as good as the others here i'm going to put it here in conclusion claude has done an insane job of coding in general they really are the goat of of algo trading and building trading strategies i'm extremely impressed and really excited by how, what it actually can do let's quickly go and see it looks like it's just finishing up another trading strategy now this is just for the fun of things it has given us a full oh no it hasn't given us a full explanation just a very quick overview here let's see what it's actually doing let's go let's copy and paste this in here we did have another error here but this is a simple error so i'm going to fix it let's go we have another error here okay we have another profitable trading strategy on the one uh, one day time frame 250 closed trades 49 percent up we did go through a big drawdown at the beginning but this looks amazing let's go over to the one hour time frame and see that is impressive with zero optimization we have a very 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 good back test i'm actually going to move this up 
I'm going to put it up here. And I really do think that Claude deserves the top rank for its agent and for its deep thinking or its thinking model. Congratulations to them. So it looks like we have found the holy grail of the coders of for trading strategies. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I will put all of the code snippets on davidtech.com so you can find these trading strategies. Obviously, I didn't look into things like fees and things like that. But you will be able to find tons of David Trick strategies on the website. I look forward to meeting you in Discord. Take care, keep safe, trade like a boss, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Come on, David, and once again, he's going to code a new strategy. He'll be back in just five minutes. RSI and MAC.